Hello and welcome to One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Seabrick B, and it is Tuesday, and we're going to open up some more Topps baseball cards from 2012, finishing up the last stack from this 2012 Topps Series 1 MLB Baseball Hobby Box. If you missed parts 1, 2, or 3 of any of the previous years, there should be a little playlist button right there, but you also just head on over to the channel page and search for what you're looking for, watch it over there, watch everything over there, and while you're at it, uh, subscribe. And uh, turn on notifications. Also, hit the thumbs up, like this video, hit that share button, share this with everyone you know. Head on down to the comments. And uh, once I finish opening this uh, stack, tell me what your favorite card was I pulled out of this entire box. Um, if you've watched all four, and if you haven't, go watch the other ones before and you know, watch them all. Um, and then check out the links in the description for all my other internet related items. So let's get to it. We got nine more packs to open. And we still have not gotten the hit. You're supposed to get one autograph or relic card per box. We haven't gotten it. We better get it in these last stacks because be kind of upset if we don't. Kind of upset. But let's see what we can find. Okay, no real rookies to mention out of this set series, unfortunately. We got Mark Trumbo, Michael Martinez, Adrian Beltre, who, as you're watching this, probably got elected to the Hall of Fame. And will be enshrined in July. Now, as I'm recording this, they haven't announced that yet. So, but he was his voting was trending in the right direction. Got Logan Forthsight, um, Gold Sparkle card, Matt Dominguez, rookie David Price, Scott Rowland, who went into the Hall of Fame. Uh, what was that? Was that last year? Two years? I don't remember what year that was. I know he's in. I know he got in. Alex Avila, uh, Steve. T the labor um kershaw who will be a hall of famer roy holiday who is a hall of famer and cliff lee who was he never quite got to the hall of fame you know he had some really good years but no he wasn't quite hall of fame worthy all right next back got one yas nyaso nicasio something like that johnny peralta john danks we got Golden, golden stand, gold standard. Actually, Do DiMaggio and Justin Verlander. Golden moments. Another guy will get in the Hall of Fame. Liam Kendricks, probably the best rookie you can get out of this, which isn't really saying much. Sergio Santos, Adam Dunn, Luke Gregerson, and Kemp Fielder and Pools. Pools, of course, will get in when he's up for eligibility. All right, next pack. Feels a little thick, but might just be in my imagination. Although, you know, we're getting down to it, so if we're going to have a relic somewhere, it's good a place as any. Got Curtis Granderson, Mike Napoli, Nate Scherholtz. We got the Golden uh, Albert Pujols, Golden Greats. Then we got the uh, Gold Golden Giveaway, Unlocker Tops Gold, Tops Code, blah, blah, whatever. With, uh... Kemp, I don't understand what these are, but anyways, uh, Dylan Patanza is probably the second best rookie I got out of this. Wilson Ramos, Jason Vargas, Alan Craig, World Series card, and Tommy Hansen. Unfortunately, is no longer with us. I don't believe, right? I don't want to be killing people off, but I'm pretty sure he passed away um, a number of years ago. But now I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't want to kill people, kill off people. You know, I mean. That's that's not cool, but I'm pretty sure he passed. Um, yeah, 2015. All right, and then Scott Rowland went in. See, was it last year or the year before? Um, it was last year. Okay, I was like, I know what happened. Uh, it wasn't. Yeah, it was last year. Got Ian Kennedy, uh, Eric Thames, uh, Mike Stanton, uh, 87. Of course, Giancarlo Stanton, as we know him now. Uh, 87, uh, future, no. Reading the next card. 87, mini. Then go gold futures, Craig Kimball. Kimball. Uh, Jordan Pacheco, rookie. Giovanni Soto, George Kateris, Brett Anderson, Reed Johnson, and Nick Hundley. 
Now things out there. All right, so still haven't gotten our hit. Now I'm starting to get a little worried. That Chipper Jones. Is that his final year, Chipper Jones? I feel like I've looked this up before and I always forget. Chipper Jones, what was his last year? No, yeah, 2000, well, 2012 was his last year. So whether he has a 2013 card or not, I don't know. Because sometimes they do that, sometimes they don't. I don't know why they choose sometimes. Sometimes they give the guy that card the next year, sometimes they don't. I don't know. Peter Buholz, uh, we got Matt Joyce, golden sparkle card. Oh, here's our hit. David Price, okay. Golden Moments Relic, game use memorabilia. Uh, yeah, David Price had his moments. Helped the Red Sox win a World Series, so I can't really say too much bad stuff about him uh, after he finally won a playoff game <laughs> that year. But Devin Sarko, Mas rookie. Chris Coughlin, uh, Mark Teixeira, and Alex Rios rounding things out. All right. So we got our hit, but we got four more packs to go. Let's see if we can get some sort of cool uh, parallel or something. I don't know. Bonus hit. Chase Denard, Travis Wood, Chris Iannetta, Golden Moments, uh, Josh Hamilton. We got uh, Timeless Talents, Sandberg, and Ugla, Austin Romine, rookie. Wade Davis, Eric Bedard, Jason Hamill, and Madison Bumgarner. Back when he was actually in products, or Tops products. You know what's interesting? We haven't gotten any actual gold cards. We've gotten these gold sparkle cards, but these aren't numbered. But we haven't gotten any, like, gold cards. Are those hard to get in this? Can you even get them in this? I don't even see gold on the thing. Am I just not seeing it? It's 24 karat gold leaf. Hey, I don't see this like regular gold cards. Huh. Did they not do it this year? Or were they only in retail or something? That's weird. I don't know. Unless I'm just not seeing it, which is very possible. But anyways, let's keep going. Now I'm interested in that. I'm going to see. I'm going to look something up real quick. Uh, Justin Morneau, uh, Ryan Braun. We got Golden Greats, Eric Hank Aaron. We got Classic Walk-Offs, David Ortiz. I mean, I can imagine which one that is against the Yankees. Yes, it is. Uh, Andrew Kerrigan, rookie. Ryan Rayburn, Paul Canerco, Russell Martin, and St. Louis Cardinals. All right. Thanks, man. Got D Gordon, um, or D Strange Gordon, as he sometimes known. Uh, Skip Shoemaker, Brandon Ryan, Willie McCovey, Gold Standard. Got L Lance Berkman, Mini, the Mini Gold, the Mini, not Gold, Mini 87. Jim Tummy, um, eighth ever to hit 600 home runs, Hall of Famer. Tom Malone, uh, rookie, Corey L Lubke. Uh, Jamie Garcia and John Buck, and that brings us to our final pack of the box. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, not too much going on in this set and Genesis series in general. Um, we did get a nice card, a pretty nice parallel card in one of the videos. I don't want to ruin it if you haven't watched it, but and some other decent stuff. The pit was, yeah, fine, I guess. That uh, Craig Kimbrell. Uh, Vernon Wells, we got uh, Acedes Escobar, Golden Sparkle, we got uh, Albert Pujols, Golden Giveaway thingy, Brad Peacock, Rookie, Mike Flef, uh, Pelfrey, Eli Whiteside, Miguel Olivo, Danny Duffy, and Kevin Euclid rounding things out for that pack, for that stack, and for that box. But I'm just curious about one quick little thing. I'll look it up real quick. Um, I'm concerning the gold cards because I'm a little confused. Because we didn't get any. I didn't see any listed. I didn't see it listed on the odds. 
I just do they not exist that they just decide to do these ones instead of like the regular like numbered gold cards? I'm just a little confused. Let's see if I can find any. Oh, okay, here's, here's, yeah, here's where it gets interesting. They did have them. 2012 Tops Gold, numbered to 2012. Um, they were in the update packs. They were only an update. So they did the whole series in update. Weird. Interesting. I wonder why they did that. Seems weird. And unfortunately, we're not going to have any 2012 update because of the guy that we're actually going to be searching for in 2012. 12 series 2 cut sorry next week as a Bryce Harper he has like a short print kind of situation going on in series 2 uh which is really tough to find which then that card is the regular versions and update I believe or something like along those lines so it makes update pretty um pricey because it's easier to get an update and you know it's pretty valuable whereas in series 2 which I'm guessing I do have some series 2 I'm guessing it was more pricey than series 1 I don't remember you know, I got it a while ago. Um, because there is a chance you can get it, but I believe. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know. But whatever, we'll figure that out next week. Hopefully we get lucky. Um, maybe find it. I don't know. Because, uh, let me see. If I, my computer will work. Work. Computer. Work. Um... So yeah, so Bryce Harper's six six sixty one is his card number, and it was added to series two late in production run. Um, so there you go. It's in there, but it was added late. So I don't see. That's weird that it says it was added late. So does that mean it's a short print in the sense that it's not like not in the because like short prints typically it's like. Oh, well, we didn't print as many of them. They're harder to find. Whatever, but you can find them. But that's saying it was added late in production. So that almost makes it seem like it was short printed because we had already printed up, like, however many of the boxes to begin with. Then we added it. So is there a chance where it's like, either you might get it easily, or you just have no chance of getting it. As opposed to, you, know, you have a chance of getting it in any event. I don't know, the way that's worded... Makes it seems like either you've got boxes that we, there's no chance, or it's just the same as any other card. It's a weird word in that way. And I don't know how much truth we find in that, but hopefully, starting next week as we open Series 2, we will find it. So come back next week for that. Uh, but come back every day. I have these posted every day, sometimes multiple day, like later on today, we're going to open up another tops.com item. Probably another 2012, not 12, 2022 Tops Archive Snapshot box probably i think so maybe yeah i don't know just come back later on for that come back every day just hit that subscribe button turn on the notification get a notification every time videos up and ready watch come over watch it like it share comment and all that fun stuff keyword is fun just having fun here on the channel opening up cards figuring out why we're not getting any tops gold cards and then figuring out oh they're an update and uh, i don't know but next week hopefully we'll figure out the bryce harper situation as well uh but anyways that's gonna do it for today thank you everyone for watching stay safe have fun talk to you next time bye